Guys, I think it's about time we talk about Black Myth Wukong. Are you telling me that a game that excels in graphics, in a fun and challenging gameplay, beautiful art and beautiful landscapes can also excel at the music department? Today I'm gonna be getting a little taste of Wukong's soundtrack with Celestial Symphony. This is a game I am actually looking forward to buy as soon as possible. The game inspired in Journey to the West, just one of the biggest or most important novels in Chinese literature, man. I mean, this game is like China opening the doors of its country worldwide. Stop the small talk already, I think it's fair. But before that, don't forget checking out Patreon. We have secret game soundtracks I haven't reacted on YouTube. And you can also request me to listen to whatever music you want to there. Let's get into this. Mysterious and kind of sinister introduction, man. Very open, actually. Okay, a strings building up some tension. And the percussion just suddenly got included in everything. <laughs> Man, the Asian vibes are strong on this one, as one would, ex would expect. <laughs> because it's kind of common to have the brass section to be in charge of very heroic melodies as this one. It's insane because we had a very open introduction, low dynamics, few instruments, but suddenly everything was growing actually. Dynamics, volume, number of instruments, the format here is quite crazy because we have not only the usual strings and brass sections, but a lot of Chinese instruments. Chinese tra traditional instruments, I must say. And it is so freaking engaging for an outsider like me to get a little bit introduced to this. The job here is so well done because it sounds, um, I don't want to say odd, but it sounds really Asian and sounds like a melodic concept that has been passed on from generation to generation. It's about an ancestral legacy. You can actually feel it. But let's go back because the amount of information here is ridiculous, man. It's overwhelming. We have warlike vibes. Now, the pentatonic Asian vibes here on the strings. The flutes playing the scales up and down, creating beautiful landscapes. It's just amazing. This strings instrument 
We have a string instrument that reminds me a little bit of the Japanese instrument Koto. I think that the name is Koto. It's similar to a harp and you play it on your lap. But it must be the Chinese equivalent. Because we have seen that these two cultures have many instruments uh, with a common root. But a little bit of a difference in each one. We also have a bass. And you can hear that the bass have a very clear ostinato. Like pam, 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 pam. It's like we are marching, right? Pam, 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 to pam, pam. It helps a little bit with that warlike feeling. Like we are steady, steadily advancing. The precaution, man, is, is so funny. How they use it. The beginning of the phrases is not a constant group. It just hits. Bum, bum. But uh, in between the, the phrases, it develops a little bit of, of a groove, at least in the previous section. Oh, crazy! We have a call and response between the brass section and the string section. A call and response of triplets. See, there's also a, a, a traditional harp there. Right, the brass is doing, well, a part of the brass, pagaram, because the other part of the brass is actually playing the main melody. But the strings reply with other triplets. Takara, 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 taraga. Very interesting activity going on here. So heroic, man. This is like about the Chinese Superman or something. <laughs> and now we're like fucking flying, man. In the cloud, in the flying cloud. In Goku's flying cloud. Well, Wukong's. I know Goku from Dragon Ball is based on, on Wukong. Interplay between the vocals and the strings. Full dynamics, bro! You can feel the pride of this fucking song, man! My bet Wukong is a, is a proud character, man. Interesting, developing around or upon the, the precaution. This is like watching a mini movie, but in music format. <laughs> it does tell a story. Bro, what a fucking ending! It was so freaking appropriate! Not gonna lie, I haven't read um, Journey to the West, but everything in this song was the clear description of a journey. Take for example the intro and outro. The intro is the beginning of an adventure, of a tale that develops uh, and happens or it has its origin in the dark, in the unknown, but it ends so... I was gonna say happy, but not even happily. It ends at peace. It's like 
with that ending, with the strings and the piano, we finally get to our homes with a soft rain. Really freaking tired of an incredibly long journey. But uh, we can finally rest, man. I would say we can finally die in peace, rest in peace. We are back at home where we are meant to be. The nightmare is over. Damn. I want to talk about the contrast this song provides. If we think about modern games OST, and everyone, take whatever game you like, man. The contrast is so huge, and I love that because we have an oversaturation of EDM, electronic effects all the time, a dubstep, I would say metal uh, bands with electronic aesthetics and textures, but this one, this one is not a sellout, is not willing to sacrifice the legacy. I do think that this music and maybe this game is an actual love letter to Chinese culture. And I respect that. I fucking respect that. It doesn't matter if other games are including very modern aesthetics, instruments, formats on their games, soundtracks. If they even include a season pass. Because Wukong, Black Myth Wukong won't do that shit, man. It will stick to its values. Holy. Well, thank you very much for watching and hanging around. I had a blast. I hope you did too. Have a blast of a day, please. Peace.